Let's learn more about double digit division. Ideally, you've already watched the double digit division by multiples of 10 video that would have helped you understand this process. Here we have 863 divided by 23, where 23 is our divisor. We're trying to see how many times that 23 can go into this number 863. And so again, like single digit division, we take this, our divisor, and we start with the largest place, that hundreds place. 23 cannot go into 8, however 23 can and go into 86. And in this case, I, those multiples of 23 help us figure out which one to choose. We've got 23, 46, 69 to go ahead and start off with. And we also have 92 as multiples, as multiples of 23. This would be times 1. This would be times 2, times 3 there, and times 4 right there. Right, 23 times 4 is 92. And then so if we look at those there, and we look at that first one there, 86 divided by 23, it looks like we have 69 there, as it would be 3. 3 times 23 is 69. And 86 minus 69, 8 becomes a 7, 6 becomes 16, 16 minus 9 is 7, and 7 minus 6 is 1. At that point I bring down the 3, and we have 173. 173, we don't have a multiple there that we figured out at this point, but we know that 23 is very close to 20. And then so if it was 20, then it would be 8 times 20, which is 160. So let's try 8 and see if that is a reasonable thing to put within our answer. And so 8 times 3 is 24. 4, regroup a 2. 8 times 2 is 16, plus that 2 that we regrouped is 18. Oops, that is a little bit too big. And then so we erase that. I erase the 8. That's the process, though. I'll put a 7 there instead. 7 times 23, 1, regroup the 2. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. And then so... I can go ahead and work out my answer. My remainder at that point is 12. And then so if I could express it as a mixed number, and I can get away from writing a remainder, that is, I'd say it is 37 and 12 20 thirds. Here I have 967 divided by 34. 34 is very close to 30, and it's actually close to 40 as well, and then so it's pretty much close in the middle. And then so if we think about this here, we'll start with 96 divided by 34, and we're thinking how many times 34 can go into 96. At that point, I can go ahead and put a 2, because I know that 34 doubled is 68. And otherwise, it would be too large, too large and too big. 96 minus 68, 9 becomes an 8, so the 6 becomes 16. I'll write that in there. 16 minus 8 is 8, and 8 minus 6 is 2, 287. Now, I look at the 34 there, and it, if I did say that, oh, it's about 30, and I had brought that down there, I would have chosen 9. But I also still have the four ones, and I know that 9 times 4 is 36, so I know at that point that would be too large and too big. I'm going to go ahead and try 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 2, regroup the 3. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 3 is 27. And I do see that if I subtract those two, I get 15. And 15 is fine because 15 is not bigger than 34, so I know that I chose the right number to put in my quotient. My remainder at that point would be 15. If I did express this as a mixed number, I would go ahead and express it as 28 and 15 thirty-fourths. And that looks like a um, simplified fraction to me, so I will leave it like that there. I know that 34 is not divisible by 3, nor is it divisible by 5, nor is it divisible by 15. So the only common factor that those two numbers have is 1, so it's in simplest form.
It's time for you to try. Go ahead and think of this 57 as being 60 when you're trying to figure out what number to go ahead and put into your quotient and into your answer. You go ahead and try. Hit pause, please, and try this problem. Find the answer. Follow those division steps. We think about 57 going into 7. No, we can't do that. Did you put the 1 above the 9 there? 1 times 57 is 57. 79 minus 57 is 22. I bring down the 4. I was thinking of this as 60. So how many times does 60 go into 224? And that's the first number that I would try. I would go ahead and try 3. 3 times 57. 3 times 7 is 21. 1, regroup the 2. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2, which is 17. I subtract those two numbers. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 22 minus 17 is 5. I did my regroups there. So I have 53. Oh, it looks fine because 53 is smaller than 57. I could never end up with a remainder bigger than the divisor. So the remainder is 53. Expressing that as a mixed number, it would be 13 and 53 57ths. And that is in simplest form. Is that what you got for your answer? We have a four digit dividend now, still by a two digit divisor. And as our numbers continue to get larger here, it's still the same steps. We look at 52 going into 9, we can't do that. 52 can go into 96, and we put a 1 there. Because 1 times 52 is 52. 96 minus 52 is 44. And we bring down one number at a time. After we bring down a number, what's our next step again? Did you say divide? Right. 442 divided by 52. We think of 52 as being close to 50. And if we think of being close to 50, and then we went down in that case, 50 going back into 44, that would be 8 times. Let's go ahead and try 8, and let's see what happens. 8 times 2 is 16. Oops, accidentally moved that there. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 regroup the 1. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41. And then if I subtract those two, I end up getting 4, 3, 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, good, 26. That's fine because fi this was 52 here. Otherwise, I'd have to go back here and adjust my quotient. Finally, I bring down the 4 here. And again, I think about how many times can 50 go into 264, and I would say 5 times. And so that it seems to make sense. Um, I would erase that 1 as the regroup, because that was the 1 from before. 5 times 2 is 10, 0, regroup the 1, different 1. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26. Oh good, I chose a good number to put into my dividend. 264 minus 260 is 4, so my remainder is 4. Or I could express it as 185 and 450 seconds, and that would reduce and that would simplify down to 226, which goes to 1/13. So it's 185 and 1 13th. All that happens as my dividend, the number I'm dividing, grows larger, is that I'm just going to have to have more steps. My answer also can be larger as well. It'll have more digits. And that's how we divide when we're looking at double digit division. I'll leave you with one last problem. You try 8,325 divided by 43. You try. Hit pause, please. Did you come up with that for your first step? Did you bring down the 2? What did you put inside of the quotient? I would have tried 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 7, regroup the 2. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 2 is 38. That looks like it's right. 4, 3, 10, 9, 12, 5, 1, 15. Fine. 
that is smaller than 43. My next step at that point is to go ahead and bring down the 5, and I think how many times can 4 and that 40 go into 155? That's my thought process as to how it is that I choose what number to put next to that 9 and above the 5. And if I look at that and I look at that, I would think that it's 3, and I think that's valid. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is, one, is 12, and then so I have 129. Sorry, I ran out of room there again. And so if I subtract those two numbers, I get 26. 26 is our remainder. 8,325 divided by 43 is 193, remainder 26. Sure, my remainder looks big, but it is still smaller than my divisor. If I expressed it as a fraction and as a mixed number, my remainder that is, I'd have the mixed number 193 and 26 43rds. That's it.